assalamu alaikum my dear students today we will study livestock feeding too so we will more go in more detail how we are going to feed our livestock so we have general feeding principles of uh, for dairy cows and buffaloes for example if you have an adult cow and buffalo and she is giving 3 kg of milk her live body weight is 500 kg then we will offer her 50 kg of green fodder and 0 kg of concentrate if the same cow and buffalo is yielding 6 kg of milk per day and uh, with same weight we will give the same green fodder but we will give her 1 kg of concentrate per day if her milk yield increase to 9 then our concentrate would increase to 2 kg per day if cow is giving 12 kg of milk per day we need to give her concentrate 3 kg so after 3 kg every for every 3 kg of milk we need to increase 1 kg of concentrate in her feeding similarly for 15 kg of milk we will give her 4 kg of concentrate per day besides 50 kg of green fodder. So this is roughly 10% of body weight. You can see if she is 500 kg, we are going to give her 50 kg of feed. And if she is 100, then obviously we will give her 100, 1000 kg of body weight. If she has 1000 kg body weight, then we will give her 100 kg of green fodder. So it is 10% of her body weight. Another category is pregnant cow or buffalo. Last, especially during last two months of pregnancy, we will give her 50 kg of green fodder and we will give her 1.5 kg concentrate as pregnancy allowance. So pregnancy allowance is good because she needs more energy and more protein for her calf and we need to provide fresh and clean water 24 7 and edible salt crystals must be present in the mangers 24 7. now we come towards sheep and goat if a goat is small for example teddy breed of goat, goat we will give her 500 uh, 5 kilograms of green fodder with no concentrate grazing during daytime is preferred method of feeding for all this if the goat is large the green fodder would be 8 kilograms per day with zero concentrate if we have an adult sheep we will feed her 8 kilograms of green fodder with no concentrate if uh, our goat are breeding then we should provide her breeding allowance and breeding allowance is a half kg of concentrate per day Usually before the breeding we start a couple of weeks before breeding season and a couple of weeks after breeding season. So we need to give her half kg concentrate every animal per day. And if we have a breeding ram or ewe, again we will give her 8 kg of green fodder and a half kilogram of concentrate. So fresh water, fresh and clean water must be available 24-7, edible salt crystals must be there because the animal will uh, uh, lick those crystals and remove his deficiency of uh, sodium chloride uh, usually for sheep and goat we send uh, sheep and goat uh, for grazing during daytime for example 8 am our herd our shepherd would lead the animals for grazing and they would come back in the evening so in either way we need to uh, feed them this much amount of green forage either through grazing or through stall feeding these are the two ways so this means now you have a cup, uh, idea how much amount of forage and concentrate we need to give our livestock now we uh, go towards uh, forage preservation methods uh, uh, in certain seasons we have uh, uh, we do not have fodder and forage available during the whole year so there are periods of fodder shortage for example in may june and in december january 
Uh, therefore, we need to preserve forage when it is available in excess and then we can use this stored or preserved forage during the shortage period. So one method is hay. We simply take the green fodder and dry it uh, and make bales and this becomes hay is a grass legumes or herbaceous plants that have been cut and dried to be stored for use as animal fodder and hay usually has less than 18 percent moisture or water in it and before baling in large bales bale gaanthon ko kehte hain jab unke bade bade gaanthe banate hain we make big bales and then we transport and feed to animals so this is a pictorial representation these are alpha alpha hay bales for horse uh, we can tr make them, we can transport them, and we can use for horse feeding. Similarly, these are hay bales for cattle. Uh, we can use these hay uh, for uh, our dairy or beef cattle. Second method of preservation is silage. Silage is a type of fodder made from green foliage crops which have been preserved by acidification achieved through fermentation. It can be fed to cattle, sheep and other ruminants and it is produced from green forage crops that are compressed and stored under anaerobic conditions. And keep in mind it contains more moisture, 60 to 75 percent moisture. So difference between hay and silage is hay contains less than 18 percent moisture and silage contains 60 to 75 percent moisture. Uh, silage is also called chare ka achar. Uh, in Urdu, we make a pickle, silage uh, for the pickle, and this is called silage. How we make it? So this is a typical silage bunker. We can make a, 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 a bunker for um, silage. Uh, we uh, cut the for fresh fodder in small pieces, and then we put them in the bunker and we press it with tractor. Uh, to remove all the air between the between the uh, between the fodder cut uh, fodder pieces so we provide an anaerobic condition then we cover this with the plastic sheet so no air should go or come out so we usually keep it for two months like that and after two months the silage is ready and you can use it uh, for feeding animals this is a, 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 a photo of corn silage, which is most common form of silage being used. And then we go towards feed additives. Up till now, we have read about uh, two types of feed, green fodder and concentrate, but we might need some other additives, for example, vitamins, minerals, and non-nutritive feed additives. So we use them to further improve the efficiency of our animals, to improve their milk production, to improve their growth rate. So uh, there are commercial apps available for this, uh, commercial preparations available for these feed additives. Uh, I have a couple of examples. This is uh, this feed business is a full fledged business. So this is. Uh, I have no link with these guys, but uh, I'm, I'm just uh, telling to you that this is a commercial business. So corn silage is available. So here you can see the price. It is 7 rupees per kilogram if you are buying 110 bale. If you are buying 400, then price is more obviously. It is roughly 9, 9, 8.75 rupees. And if you are even buying less 80 kilogram bale, then it's 9 rupees per kg. So this is the cost of silage and silage is available and this is an example of cattle feed. Uh, this is a commercial company Dairy Lag. They, they make pellets and mash feed. This is a, a good business. Uh, you can uh, make feed and sell feed. So the, the, the cost is around 40 rupees per kilogram for one kilogram of uh, 40 rupees per kilogram for feed or vanda. So in this lecture to conclude uh, we, uh, uh, we we need to feed animals green fodder and concentrate and we can give some feed additives like vitamins, minerals 
and uh, inophores or probiotics to improve the efficiency of animals and there are commercial applications available we need if you, we need to preserve the fodder we can uh, preserve it either we can make hay or we can make silage and we can preserve this fodder and we can use this for coming years or during the period of shortage so uh, this is all about today's lecture if you have any question you can ask thank you very much for your attention